In this video, we're discovering the Arts District of Las Vegas. The Arts District is a neighborhood located between the north end of the Las Vegas Strip and Fremont Street in the downtown area. It's a really cool neighborhood with lots of breweries and antique shops and thrift stores. So we rented a couple of scooters from Atomic Scooters and we're cruising around all over the Arts District today. So come along with me and I'll show you all the cool stops you can make. And at the end of the video, I've got some tips if you plan to visit next time you're in Vegas. I love this area because it's trendy, eclectic, and a completely different vibe from your classic Las Vegas experience. You'll see signs all over that read 18B. This is after the number of blocks that first comprised the Arts District. Starting with one of the main draws of the Arts District is the amount and variety of unique stores, boutique and vintage shops, antique malls and markets, thrift stores, and more. Even if you're not looking for anything in particular, it's a nice change of pace to walk around and browse all the quirky shops and look for treasures or maybe even hunt for lost pieces of Vegas history. This is also where you'll find Coolsville Tattoo, home of the famous $10 tattoos in Las Vegas. I was too chicken to go and get one, but maybe if I get like 100,000 views on this video, I'll go get a tattoo and you guys can vote on which one I get. And I'll make a video about it. Comment on this video if you like this idea. One of the best places to find murals in Las Vegas is in the Arts District. Street art, sculptures, and murals have become somewhat synonymous with this part of Vegas. You could spend all day walking up and down each of the 18 blocks and never run out of finding new murals. We can thank the Life is Beautiful Music and Arts Festival that started in 2013, which has been transforming downtown into a visual feast ever since. After mural hopping, we move on to a different type of hops. The Arts District is perhaps most well known for the extensive number of craft breweries along Brewery Row. Each put their own spin on high quality craft brews. There's something for every palate. If you can't visit them all, here are a few of my favorites. First, we have Cerveza. What I love about this place is that many of the beers have a Mexican influence. I highly recommend trying the Michelada flight. Each beer sampler is made into a Michelada and includes fruit lagers like mango, pineapple, guava, as well as the regular Mexican lager. Abel Baker is one of the most popular ones and a great starting point since it's at the south end of the district. The theme of this brewery pays homage to the atomic testing history in Nevada and offers over 30 beers on tap. The ambience and atmosphere is casual and inviting and the tap room feels like an outdoor patio brought inside. And then we have Neon Desert. What's not to love about a tap room decorated in bright green and pink hues? Among the dozen choices of beer on tap, the most unique is probably the one called 11 Circles of Hellies, where you choose how hot you want it on a scale from 1 to 11. This beer has a mix of Ghost, Serrano, and Habanero peppers. I chose to do a 6 out of 11 on the hot scale, and it was pretty spicy. I think an 8 or a 9 would be wild, let alone 10 or 11. But definitely try it for yourself. What is this, like the one chip challenge, except with beer? So we're at Love It Frozen Custard, and this place is a Las Vegas staple. It's been here for decades. It's a walk-up window, and look how many flavors of frozen custard they have. I asked for the most popular flavor that they serve here, and that's the Western Special. This includes hot caramel, hot fudge, salted pecans, and a maraschino cherry. When it's hot out and you're craving something cold, definitely try this classic Las Vegas treat. But you do have to eat it pretty fast. Inside a converted warehouse, you'll find the Arts Factory, a creative hub which houses over 30 small galleries and artist studios and features rotating exhibitions from local and international artists. It's free to walk around the labyrinth-like hallways and browse all the art, shop for jewelry, and more. And here's a fun tip, find the art vending machine. 
where you can purchase small pieces of art from local artists. I really wanted to know what was in the mystery box. What do you think it was? Another fantastic thing to do in the arts district and parts of downtown is to take a guided e-scooter taco tour with Atomic Scooters. You can choose a self-guided tour that comes with a map and tour at your own pace, or you can join a guided small group tour that takes about two hours. You'll glide along the funky store line sidewalks and stop at four taco joints and a dessert spot, all while stopping for fun photo ops along the way. All the stops are fantastic and you'll probably taste some delicious food that you probably never would have discovered on your own. If you want to do either of these tours, head to AtomicScooters.com and use the code AllySmalls to get 10% off. Another option to see and experience the highlights of the Arts District is to join a walking tour. Taste Buzz Tours offers a sightseeing and foodie tour where your guide will take you along some of the best streets within this neighborhood. You'll pass by the best murals for photo ops, see famous wedding chapels and other noteworthy hidden gems, all while stopping for coffee, tacos, pizza, some local beers, desserts, and much more. At this next spot, pop culture and cosplay fans are gonna love this place. Millennium Fandom Bar is a local bar and hangout space filled with memorabilia and props from all your favorite cult classic movies and TV shows. Not only is the decor on point, they have a massive list of pop culture inspired cocktails. I love the ambience here. It's moody and dimly lit to showcase more of the props. And yes, you can play with the lightsabers here. Also, if you're dressed in cosplay, you get a discount. Now, here's a few tips before you go to the arts district. There's no need to go early as nothing really opens until about 11 or so. So find somewhere for a nice breakfast or brunch and then head to the arts district. The area is very walkable and safe during the day, but if you want to explore and only have a couple of hours, I definitely recommend renting the e-scooters. We were able to cover almost the entire neighborhood in a few hours without having to rush, and it was a nice break from walking 20,000 steps, which we usually do on a typical Vegas day. And to get to the Arts District, you can take a rideshare like Uber or Lyft, and it should cost you anywhere from $8 to $12 if you're coming from the Strip. This should also give you an idea of how much it should cost if you take a taxi or you can take the downtown loop from the Strat Hotel. This is a free shuttle that runs during the day. And as much as I love this neighborhood, if it is your first time to Vegas, you could probably skip it unless you're here for five or six days. But it's a great place if you've been to Vegas a few times and you wanna check out some new areas. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one.